Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by as always. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So happy to be doing this for you guys. This is your intuitively awakened star seed here with a message for you guys. Thank you so, so much, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Um, Let's go ahead and tap in here, you guys, because you know what? I'm picking up... Somebody is obsessing, right? Somebody is obsessing over the past. Somebody's obsessing over the future of a connection. I'm picking up on... Um, a separation here, a, um, I'm picking up on no contact or separation, right? I'm also picking up, I got some um, karmic energy here, you guys. So somebody is, I feel like somebody is secretly hoping that you guys can work things out or something like that, but I'm picking up on a third party. Like there's, it's like you guys are separated. It's something like that, y'all. We're going to go ahead and tap into this reading. You guys, please remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her, people, places, things. Let's go ahead and tap into the who, what, when, where, and why. What's going on? What's your person's current energy during this separation, this no contact? What's happening here? Because I feel like there's somebody... It's like somebody's losing it, right? But it's almost as if somebody is like with someone else but worried about you i'm seeing exhausted right so somebody is burned out empty not getting their needs met not happy where they're at i do see that right they're exhausted stressed out feel like they made the wrong choice feel like they made a mistake yeah oh because whomever they're with has been exposed. I'm picking up on they've been exposed. Something's been revealed, right? Concerning this person they're with. Hiding, concealing, deception, right? Yeah, they was they were with somebody, a mask person. Somebody was wearing a mask, right? There were illusions. Uh-huh. Yeah, but this person is obsessing over you while they're with this person, right? Look, I'm seeing epiphany. Yeah, so... There's an awakening here. This person is really feeling feelings that they didn't realize that they had for you before. I feel like this is somebody you separated from or in no contact that you guys have moved on. I'm picking up on a glow up as well with you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Huh. But this person is seeing things different. From their higher perspective, right? It's like this person is definitely seeing that there was more to your connection and they fumbled it. But they're with a karmic is what I'm getting. I'm picking up on karmic energy. Yeah. Mm. There is a whole lot of gossip going on here. Yeah. So this person is obsessing over you. There's a lot of gossip going on about you, or a lot of people are talking. There's a glow up. You get a lot of attention, Divine Feminine, I'm picking up on, or maybe you don't realize it, but there are a lot of people that, you know, you get a lot of attention. And I feel like there's a lot of jealous energy as well, but I'm seeing rumors, gossip, nosy. People talk about what's the tea on Divine Feminine. Maybe trying to dig up dirt on you, this karmic, because they're jealous. Oh, what? Look, the next card. I cannot make this up. So karmic, jealous, third parties, gossiping, haters. Told you, you got a lot of jealous energy gossiping about you, right? This divine masculine is not happy with this person they're with or their choice. They feel like they made a big mistake here. Mm-hmm gossip somebody's trying to get dirt on you like to because they found out this karmic has found out yes that this divine masculine is obsessing over you is still in love with you uh-huh 
little daydreaming, can't stop thinking about you in their head. It's like they're not even focused. They're not even present where they're at. They their head is in the clouds. They're more they're worried about you, divine feminine. Yeah. Oh. What else we got, spirit? Yeah. They're worried about you, their ex. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of ex exhausted, right? Past energy, right? Nostalgic. There's a lot of illusions that are coming out. This is not what they thought where they're at. I can tell you that. Look what came out. Psychopath, right? Abusive, conniving, manipulative energy that they're with, right? They didn't found out something about this person that they're with. Mm-hmm. They see that you were loyal. There's a glow up. You, There's something that this divine masculine is seeing about you as well. Something on social media or it could be people gossiping, right? Something secure wealth. You could be like leveling up as far as money or something like that. I don't know. Oh, healing. Working on yourself. Ah, you moved on and now it's like, I feel like you've moved on with your life. They're seeing that you've moved on with your life, something like that. Yeah. Or it's like, you're not chasing them. This divine masculine was definitely in some dis distorted, fragmented energy. It was like they were used to like these low vibrational karmics that would chase them, this codependent energy. You didn't chase them. That woke them up, right? Mm-hmm. And this karmic is nothing like you. Not loyal. I feel like there's something to do. There's a mask. There's some type of betrayal going on here between this karmic and this divine masculine. Yeah. What else we got, spirit? Oh, envy. Envious. Jealous of you. This karmic is very jealous of you. Resentful. This picture is giving me, it's like they've seen divine masculine looking at your profile, watching you, something to do with you, seeing them obsessing over you. And this karmic also has a view of seeing you as leveling up, right? So you're, it's like you've moved on or you're healing or something like that. Things are looking up in your life. You're looking good. This divine masculine is watching this. But also this karmic is watching it too. And there's a lot of jealousy, right? Mm-hmm trying to compete with you. That's why this karmic's keeping tabs on you because they want to copycat. They want to shapeshift. They want to um, emulate you, right? Imitate you. Because they're fake. They're a false person, right? They fake being a divine feminine, right? But the truth is out about that because they're messy, right? I'm getting, there's a lot of energy, whereas this person, there is some type of betrayal. They could even have another person person or have this divine masculine in a third party situation, but they are jealous of you because you're light, you're attractive, you're resilient. You know, it's like this separation happened, right? I feel like this separation happened, but it wasn't like, I, I feel like this karmic it was like, it's something to do with timing, right? And when you guys separated, something in there, right? There's a caveat in there, but they're resentful, right? Because, okay, so this karmic thought with you out of the picture, they would have divine masculine's complete attention, love, undivided attention and love, right? And here this divine masculine is still watching you, obsessing over you. What? Like obsessing. And see, that's what I'm saying. So this karmic is trying to blame this divine masculine being obsessive over you 
for their behavior, putting this divine masculine in the third party situation. That's what I'm picking up on, right? So there's a lot of chaos and conflict going on over you, divine feminine. Meanwhile, you're focused on the future. 1010 on the timer. Mm, angel number 1010. Yeah. Signs and synchronicities. Yeah. So they're blaming, embarrassing this divine masculine being for the streets, essentially, because this divine masculine's heart is still with you. They found out this divine masculine is obsessing over you. It was like, I'm picking up, there was a point in time where divine masculine fell back, right? So they weren't, they were still watching you, but it wasn't obsessively. But now it's like they're tapping into these feelings, right? It's like something about they seen you, they may have seen you and you didn't see them, but it awakened something in them, right? And now they're like losing it, right? They are like really obsessing. 1111 was just on the timer. Come through spirit. But now they're being embarrassed in front of the whole community. Yeah. All the illusions are being broken with this, this karmic, right? I, I'm seeing that. Mm-hmm. Because this divine masculine is still in love with you. Look, this divine masculine has put distance between them in this karmic, or they will be, or this is speaking to the distance between you guys. But what I'm getting here, I'm seeing ghosted and separation. So divine masculine is like really, I'm picking up like on a level of disgust, something going on with this karmic that they're with, right? Look, blocked, mm, moving on, nothing to say. Stop calling, cold, no contact. Yeah, just cut, ooh. Because there's, there's been a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict about you, Divine Feminine, because it's like they realize that this Divine Masculine is still in love with you, but it's like they're trying to blame their messy behavior on Divine Masculine's love for you and why they embarrassed them and had them in the third party situation. Child, this is, oof, oof. This divine masculine's been shattered and broke over you, over losing you since you walked away. And this karmic so jealous. Oh my gosh. They're jealous because they know that this divine masculine, deep down inside, this divine masculine was broken over you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this person is definitely obsessing over you. Oh, confirmation, masculine energy. This is your divine masculine, right? Yeah, focusing on the past, right? Mm-hmm. I'm seeing old exes, yep. Yeah. And the consequences. The consequences of their action, their immaturity, right? They not seen you. you. You done leveled up. Something done happened, I feel like. Something about your appearance, it could be your money, it could be your, you know, your financial situation. You could have moved, got a new apartment, a new house. Yeah, a new car, something like things are turning around. This divine masculine is seeing you in a new light is what I'm getting. They're definitely seeing that they fumble. Child, they're hoping that they didn't burn bridges with you. They feel trapped in this karmic situation. They put themselves in this whole karmic cycle, these karmic ties, yep. But they feel like you don't trust them, right? Yeah, they feel like they lost your trust. You feel as though they're disloyal. Feel like you've turned your back on them, right? Because it's like you guys have been separated, I feel like. And they've moved on and they with their karmic. And now it's like they're obsessing over you. I feel like this is someone that you would least expect for some of you guys. And they're arguing about you. Yeah. They're, they argue about you, child. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, look, glow up. Who this this karmic is jealous? Because it's like, how, how? Why do you all of a sudden care so much about divine feminine? Why are you watching their profile? I feel like this divine masculine showed your picture to them. Mm hmm. Was like, look, look, look at my ex. Type of energy. This karmic's like, what the what? Why, what is going on here? What's really going on? Yeah, that type of obsessed. Like they're doing it right in front of them. It's not like, oh, I caught you looking at Divine Feminine's profile or I caught you looking at their social media. <sighs> they doing it right in front of them. Spirit, please give us more. Please give us more for the collective. Yeah. And it's like they showed your picture and it's like, that's divine feminine? They seen how attractive you were? Oh, they was like, this karmic was like, what? Jealous. Oh my goodness, right? Now it's like by any means necessary, right? They don't care because they feel like you're definitely, mm, they know this divine masculine is coming back to you because they that's where the argument started. I feel like this divine masculine literally showed your picture. Was like, look, look at my ex. Look at my ex. You could have had a picture with somebody else, another masculine or out with your friend, something, I don't know, but... It's it literally this divine masculine show like they weren't even hiding it, right? <laughs> Chow. What else we got, spirit? Uh-huh. What else we got? Mmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Please give us more for the collective. Oh, this karmic scene, how they seen there was no competition. They, there is no competition. They're trying to compete with you, trying to emulate you watching your social media. That's where it started. Because this divine masculine showed your picture to them. This divine masculine was not hiding that they've been watching your profiles. But I feel like this divine masculine was just like, you know, yeah, look at, you know, my, my ex or whatever, you know, and just try. But th what? The seed was planted. The seed of jealousy was planted right there. What you doing? Oh, my goodness. This karmic was hopeless at that point when they seen you. Because I feel like they heard, you know, about divine masculine's ex. But I feel like... They didn't, they felt as though it was completely over. They didn't even, they didn't feel like there was any competition. Now they're in secret competition with you. Because Divine Masculine let them know, right? And then look, all of this arguing about you, Divine Masculine cutting ties, right? Look, Archangel Michael is here. Protection, Divine Intervention. See, Divine Feminine, you are leveling up. Things are shifting in your life. So, like, your your frequency is getting higher. Like, and so it's like there's going to be some divine intervention. There may be a faded meeting with this Divine Masculine to bring you guys back together, right? Because you, I feel like you may have already said, okay, well... This isn't working. Some time has passed. It's time to move on. This divine masculine, they are divine masculine. They do have psychic gifts, right? And they feel your energy being pulled away too, right? That's why they're obsessing over you because they can feel that energetic shift even though you guys are apart because this is your divine counterpart. And this connection is protected, right? And the universe is bringing you guys back into frequency, that's why everything, it's like, I feel like everything is starting to fall apart. Things are starting to crumble on this divine masculine's end because they are being brought out of this karmic cycle. The lesson was learned. They then got publicly humiliated. 
in everything. So now the lesson has been learned. But your frequency, you're moving fast. You know, you're light. You're, 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 you're leveling up, right? Your glow up is, is apparent. Yeah. A lot of people's enlightened like, okay. I see Divine Feminine. Yeah, that, look, this divine masculine had fallen from your grace, but I'm seeing divine intervention, right? Before you move on with someone else. That's why things are being shook up with this divine masculine the way they are, right? Because you guys are coming back into harmony, come through spirit. Believe it or not, as messy as things are, look, as toxic as things appear to be, you guys, look, soulmate, soul connection, come through spirit. Y'all are coming back into connection, right? You're coming back into harmony, balance. Alignment is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. It's always darkest before the dawn, right? That's why things are going completely haywire with this divine masculine. Because it's like, who does that? Who actually shows? Yeah, I'm checking out. I watch Divine Feminine's profile constantly, consistently. I'm obsessing over Divine Feminine. Like, who does that, right? Yeah, that's the universe. Universe had this divine masculine tell on themselves, right? Because it's time to wrap this up. This is your divine counterpart. Mm -hmm. That's why the signs and synchronicities are showing up. That's why we're seeing the 1010, something coming to an end, a new beginning. 1111, 1 and 1 is 2. Numerology, that's coming together, right? Yeah, that's a union, a partnership, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like Divine Masculine is hopeful for this connection, right? It's, all of this is going on, and I feel like Divine Feminine, you've just been focused on working on yourself and healing and stuff like that, and all of this stuff is going on behind the scenes. Shout. Mm-hmm. What I tell you, a bunch of chaos and conflict is going on behind the scenes. Shout. Uh-huh. Upheaval, disaster. Yeah, because this divine masculine realizes how rare you are. You're a rare connection. Like you're a divine, you're a divine being. They're a divine being, right? Yeah. This love is a, an agreement that was created in the East ethers, the astral plane, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's rare. You guys, this is transcended through lifetimes, right? Come on, come through, spirit. Yeah. Oh, this was a karmic lesson. Karmic ties being cut. Cutting karmic ties is what I'm getting here. Coming back to their soulmate, twin flame, friendship. Yeah. Yup. Romantic partner. That's you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Yes, this person hasn't forgotten about you. Mm -mm. Nope. But I feel like there has been some time passed, right? But this person is still longing for you. They want you. They want their divine feminine. Yep. I feel like this was part of their karma. This was a karmic lesson, right? That they had to go through. They had to face this, right? I feel like this person's definitely going to be in hermit mode. I'm seeing antisocial, right? They're in their feelings right now. They're in their feelings. They see how rare you are, how loyal. Your divine spirit, light worker, star seed. Yeah. Child, you an alchemist. Can make something out of nothing. Yeah, you're a creator. This divine masculine is puzzled. How could they ever get back to you? To their feminine, their divine feminine. Yep, missing your intimacy, your nurturing love. Oh, your healing love. Mm-hmm. Nobody loved them like you. Child, they see you as being so beautiful. What? Let's go ahead and go to the tarot. This person sees you as being your light. You so beautiful to them. That's why they were obsessing. And they really turned around and like I, I'm seeing somebody like really like showing their phone. Like, look, see. 
This karmic was like, what you showing me this divine feminine for? What's up? What is going on here? It's like that. Yeah, it's like that. Chow. Yep. They're facing this karmic lesson though, right? And I feel like this person that they were with, this karmic, they really shook them. They're scared. They triggered them, right? That's triggering. True. Yep. And now this divine masculine sees you got options. They realize how rare this connection was. They realize how rare you were, right? Everything is, they're being enlightened, right? This divine masculine is tapping into their higher self, tapping into um, clarity, right? Enlightenment. They see this connection for what it was worth, right? And they want it back. Oh, yes. <laughs> they want to reconcile so bad with you, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. They want to reconcile with you, right? It's like I heard the karmic say, you still in love with divine feminine. You're still in love with divine feminine. And I feel like it was one of those situations where divine masculine was just staring at the karmic, right? They couldn't say anything. Because it was the truth. They couldn't say nothing. I feel like this karmic went off and this divine masculine, all they could do was just look. It was like cat had their tongue. Yep. What else we got? There is so much spying. There is so much spying on you, right? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Page of Swords. Divine Masculine's watching you. This Karmic's watching you. I feel like this Divine Masculine has cut this Karmic off, but they're still watching you because they feel like if they can emulate you, if they can copycat you, that they can pull this Divine Masculine back towards them, right? This Divine Masculine is manifesting you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Manifesting balance, coming back into alignment with you. Look at all the chaos and conflict going on with them. I can't make this up because King of Cups, they're still in love with you. That's what I just said. Like this karmic was like, you're still in love with divine feminine. I can hear them yelling and this divine masculine is just sitting there looking. Cups of love. Just a cup of love for divine feminine. Yup. Yup. They are. Oh, yeah, they are. Ciao. And trying to figure out a way back. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was almost as if divine mas masculine needed to hear that for confirmation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else we got, spirit? This divine masculine is hoping you'll open your heart to them. Truth, confirmation, justice. Uh-huh. This is about to move quick. Libra energy on the board. Also Sagittarius energy on the board. Yep. Oh, wow. You guys have been separated for a little, a good, a good amount of time is what I'm getting. Yeah, but this karmic is devastated. They are devastated that this divine masculine is still in love with you. And then turned around and cut them off. Uh, uh, turned around and cut the karmic off. Yeah, look. Here's the diabolical dark karmic energy right there with the devil card. They turned around and cut them off, right? With their sneaky conniving energy. All of these rumors. I'm picking up on a lot of rumors, even more rumors starting now. Be careful. Make sure you're tapped into your higher self at this time. Yeah, because there's a lot of rumors. I'm, I'm picking up on seeds of doubt. Uh-huh. Because look, this karmic is in this energy, up at night, can't sleep, stressing over this, over this separation, over divine masculine still being in love with you, right? And then they went and embarrassed divine masculine because this divine masculine still in love with you. 
this is a divine masculine. This they're not going to sit in that type of messy energy, that codependent energy. You're not going to have them in a love triangle. I don't care what happened. Yeah, that's just like divine feminine. That's why y'all separated in no contact. Uh huh. Cause it's like, yeah, there's there is no competition. Mm mm. No. Look, unbridled joy and happiness. Yeah. Yeah, see, this divine masculine was distorted, fragmented when they had you, right? Uh-huh. Tried to have you in some competition. Now, it's like karma because they had, this karma put them in competition. And they got public embarrassment, right? Mm-hmm. But now they realize you were the only one for them. Loyal. You're very poised, right? The way you carry yourself. The things that this karmic did, they know you would never do. Never. But also, too, there are a lot of things you would never stand for. And this divine masculine respects your gentle, subtle strength. Look at that. Leo energy on the board. You're the only one that can tame them. You're the only one that can love on them. Yeah. You're the only one for them. You are their wish granted, right? Their wish fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please give us more. Yeah. Ciao. Please give us more for the collective. We got Capricorn energy on the board. You could be a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. An Aquarius Capricorn cusp. You could also be Capricorn Sagittarius cusp. Or Sagittarius uh, Capricorn cusp. Yep. Look, Divine Masculine laying awake at night thinking about you, right? Yeah. I feel like their heart was broken when you guys separated. They cared more than they let on. They're not letting nobody come in between this. Mm -mm. Told you, you're their wish fulfillment. And here they are out in the cold. They out in the cold with you. The karmic's out in the cold with them. But this divine masculine's out in the cold with you. What? They'll choose you today, tomorrow. Blind loyalty. A blind choice. It's because it's your souls that recognize each other. Yes. You guys recognize each other from the spiritual realm. I'm picking up from the 5D to the 3D. Come through, spirit. Yeah. What is going on here? Yeah, the future of this, this divine masculine is coming towards you. They want their divine feminine. And the confirmation, believe it or not, was this karmic yelling at them like, you still love divine feminine. And it was like almost at that moment, they couldn't confirm or deny because it was a whole light bulb that went off, a whole epiphany, right? It was like they were almost in denial about their feelings for you, Divine Feminine. But once this karmic called it and went off, a light bulb went off. So they felt as though this karmic thought they were rubbing Divine Masculine's nose in this, right? Rubbing it in their face, right? Shaming them about loving you. Meanwhile, they were giving them confirmation. They were helping them confirm their feelings for you. So it was like when they were yelling and it's like this karmic's like, why won't you say anything? And it's because there was an awakening that happened right there. And this is nothing short of the universe. This is divine intervention. That moment was divine intervention that I'm picking up on, right? That was a defining moment. Yeah. And that's when this divine masculine realized they want to have it all with you, divine feminine. And they're definitely not sitting in the energy of no toxic, codependent karmic. There's no way. They want to build a future with you, Divine Feminine. You are the priority. They would never juggle you again mm -mm, or have you in competition. You are their wish fulfillment. Mm -hmm. You mean the world to them. Look at this. Taking action. This is, look, Ace of Wands. Taking action. They know you're in your Queen of Swords energy with them, but they're hoping that you will soften to them, be open to them. Look at this. Yeah, they've been in hermit mode, working on themselves, doing that introspection, doing that inner work, healing those core wounds, those insecurities that caused that past tower moment with you guys, right? 
that cause them to fall from grace with you. They want to reconnect. They want to rekindle this connection. You're who they truly want. And here the karma confirmed it. Mm hmm The karma confirmed it. Child, what else we got? Look. You're their empress. Ooh, happily ever after with their empress. They're divine feminine and they come in for it. Cancer energy on the board. I knew that card was going to show up. You could be a Leo Cancer cusp, a Cancer Leo cusp, right? Yeah, they're coming back for their happily ever after with their divine feminine, their empress, that loving, nurturing energy where they belong, their divine counterpart. Yes. Mm-hmm. Chariot card. They coming back, taking action. Look, I told you, they've been manifesting this, right? And they plan on having a happy ending, right? That's what I'm seeing. They plan on having that happily ever after with you. You have everything they want and need. They don't want anybody else but you. And here the karma confirmed it, child. Y'all. I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. And I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love you. Bye.